Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the states of New Mexico and Hawaii. This is our preview, our weekly preview of all the properties going live on the website for tomorrow, Friday, October 9th, 2020. And the sound of excitement that you hear in my voice, guys, is palpable. This palpable sense of excitement is because we have bulk acquisition finally, finally, finally going live this week. More on that in just a minute. First, of course, we want to take a chance to thank all the people who bought land from us these past seven days. A small list compared to previous week's list. Nonetheless, do want to thank returning customer Alan for swooping in and scooping up that new Valencia County listing we debuted last Friday. In addition, Ross bought some land from us in Socorro County and in Taos County, Raj, Tim, and returning customer Stephen all bought properties from us out there. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of them. Without further ado, in Sandoval County this week, going live, ba-boom, 60 new properties in Rio Rancho Estates. For the record, guys, we started negotiating this with the seller. I mentioned this in last week's video. We started negotiating this with the seller about seven months ago. It took seven months to get this to happen. So I was very, very eager to get these up on the website. So uh, only six lots so far have been photographed. They are listed here. Of course, you can click the Learn More buttons go to their respective listing pages. The other 54 properties, uh, of course, will be available on this page through the spreadsheet or through any of the pages that link to the spreadsheet here. Ba-boom. So for the record, uh, all of these are going to be made available to you guys. That being said, we're not going to debut the actual listing pages of the other properties until we have the photos. So if you come over here to the O column, O like ostrich, you will notice that we've uh, broken this down into available and photographed or available and not photographed. And just a quick thing, uh, we bought all the new properties we have going live are in units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Obviously, 7, 8, 9 are closer to development. We anticipate these are the more desirable properties, uh, particularly for those of you who invest in land in Rio Rancho. Uh, some of these have utilities. Some of them have you know, power close by. Some of them have sewer lines and things like that in the area. So point being, we're debuting the seven, eight, and nine lots first. Those will be the ones that get photographed first. So because the spreadsheet's organized by legal description, you're going to have to scroll down further down to units seven, eight, and nine to see the properties that actually have active listing pages um, linked over here. Of course, you click on these, it'll take you to their respective listing pages as such. Uh, where we will have more details on the property, such as the property-specific notes. These will be done in, in much more detail uh, this time than we did last time. Uh, and, of course, we'll have some other information on here, including the property-specific photos, blah, blah, blah. Most of the information I think that you need to glean to make an informed uh, choice about some of these properties, or at least kind of narrow it down, uh, will be uh, able to, to get through the GPS coordinates. All the GPS coordinates for all the properties, whether they've been photographed or not, will be available here. Click them. It, of course, will bring them up here in a separate window so you can kind of compare and contrast, figure out this one's over here, that one's over there, I prefer this one, so on and so forth. And a new feature this week, guys. Check this out. We've got a column called Plat Map. The E, like Echo, column is the Plat Map column. Click on any one of these and it will bring up the Plat Map in a second window. For the record, guys, this is not something I would love love, 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 to adopt this for the Trace Piedras spreadsheet as well as the Rio Grande Estate spreadsheet. That being said, Rio Rancho has superior plat maps. You can actually, you can actually absorb information from them when you look at them. Uh, not only the size, shape, location of the lot, but you can also get dimensions. You can see the name of the street it's on. Uh, things like that. They have very detailed, very nice plat maps for Rio Rancho Estates out there in Sandoval County. So we got all whatever it was, I think 82 of them to make this up. And uh, so all the plat maps will be listed here on the spreadsheets. Additionally, of course, we have the tax codes. We have the uh, assessor parcel numbers. We have unit block lot and uh, total acreage, price of the property, blah, blah, blah. Also, of course, in this column for all the properties, we have a payment link. If you want to buy the property, just click that. It'll take you to a secure checkout page. Looks something like this. Uh, for the properties we don't have photographed, this will be the best way to purchase them prior to them being photographed. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you do 
you know, if that sounds weird to some of you, I know some of you are in Maine and Connecticut and Florida and Washington and you don't know what Rio Rancho looks like, but we have a number of buyers who are intimately familiar with every intersection out there and shop based on legal description, unit, block, lot. And for those people, they don't need photos so much. Um, so we make the checkouts available to anybody who wants to buy these things in advance. Uh, if you do actually take advantage of that, we're going to refund you $250 uh, after you've bought the property. So it'll be $250 less than the purchase price if you purchase prior to the property being photographed. I hope that makes sense. For the record, guys, it's going to be a refund after purchase as opposed to a discount code, as opposed to call me on the phone at 6 in the morning and ask for a special payment link because this is the way that I foresee having the fewest problems and the fewest questions. Not no problems, not no questions, but the fewest. Anyway, guys, uh, I assume most of you who are on the YouTube channel here are familiar with how these properties are laid out in a spreadsheet, but if you're not, I hope this will be intuitive. I hope this will be easy to figure out. Whatever the case, this reference number refers to these four lots, Unit 1, Block 7, Lots 53, 54, 55, 56, which are adjacent and total two acres and are priced at twenty-seven fifty. Hopefully all that's clear. I get more questions about these spreadsheets than I ever imagined getting. So hopefully all the information that we have here is laid out in a way that is readable, absorbable, digestible, etc. And uh, it will help you in your shopping for land in Rio Rancho Estates. Blah, blah, blah. With all that said, moving on, guys, we've also got four more lots going live down here in Valencia County this week. Very similar to the one that we sold last week, which is to say these are all out in the Rancho Rio Grande subdivision, east of the highway, sandwiched, if you will, between essentially the I-25 corridor and the Manzano Mountains. Uh, these, of course, are all for a very specific type of buyer, uh, somebody who really just wants to be left alone, really wants a, a, um, a nice kind of cheap piece of land in which they can start building on, start kind of migrating their life out there over the next you know year or so, kind of building or putting up a... Um, mobile home, permanent foundation type of thing. But somebody who really doesn't want neighbors, wants to be more out by nature, wants to kind of own their first piece of land as opposed to renting wherever they're living right now, Albuquerque or Los Lunas or where have you, etc. These lots, much like the lots we listed last week, uh, present this sort of access quandary, which is that uh, the roads out here are pretty well defined until you get into the sort of legal access roads out to the property. Anybody who buys these, of course, we disclose that uh, you're probably going to have to get these kind of graded. You're probably going to have to rent some kind of equipment to kind of dig these out a little bit. Getting out to within about 300 feet of each of these properties is not too difficult. The last kind of, you know, 300 feet or 400 feet to the property, that's a little harder to do. Whatever the case, on these pages, down by the photo gallery, I'm actually going to have a video here where I'm going to talk a little bit about, it's not driving direction so much as it is just how precisely to uh, kind of, well, I guess they are like driving directions, how precisely to kind of get out to these properties. Uh, it's not a turn-by-turn -turn thing like we've done with some subdivisions in Cibola County, but it's um, more detailed than what I usually get into. Anyway, point being, guys, we've got four two-and-a-half-acre lots out here in Valencia County, each of them being offered for the low, low price of nine. 99. Anyway, with all that said, guys, 60 lots in Rio Rancho this week, four lots in Valencia County. I hope that keeps all of you busy. Um, as noted, we're going to have more and more of these Rio Ranchos being photographed as the weeks go on. Uh, units 8 and 7 are next. Those will probably start to be listed next week. And then the rest, I anticipate by Christmas we should have all of these listed. Uh, but of course, anybody who wants to take advantage knows exactly what they want, knows the area, wants to scout it in advance and uh, buy one of these prior to the photos being done, we will, again, afford you a $250 refund after purchase. All right, guys, with all that said, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. So glad to finally have these up on the listing page. It has been months and months and months that we have been working on these, uh, but I'm glad to finally have them listed. With all that said, thanks for watching, guys. My weekend begins in three, two, one.